Oh my god! That's got half a million views now. No <laughs> way! What on earth? 532k. So this video that I posted when Vimto came back in stock, on Instagram it got like 900 views and like 60 likes, like the worst post I'd done in, in months. And it's got 12,000 likes and half a million views on TikTok. And what do you know, I'm making commission off of the TikTok. Hey ho. It is, in fact, day 69. Day 69, shush you. A flipping lens drink every single day. It's a good one to celebrate. Cheers. God, I'm off to Green Bills tomorrow. Oh God. That was a sudden realization mid clip. I I'm going to Green Fields tomorrow. <laughs> As always, we have lots to do today. I've just finished up filming a my protein haul. Because of that, my apartment is now a mess. I need to stand in this light all the time. I haven't trained arms in three months and they look decent. But if you have not already, go and check out that video on what I picked up this month from my protein. And then a little bit later on, we will get into why I am ending my contract with my protein. It's been a wild ride. <laughs> I never needed at said rave uh, and it's been in there the entire time it came with a little carry bag but I didn't have anywhere to attach this so obviously I'm gonna take this to Creamfields and um, it's gonna go in its actual bag it's still too big though man like ah you know those things things like this that come in little boxes or but I did it I was gonna say it's impossible to get it back in but I did it <laughs> I'm also currently at a real dilemma with these shoes like look at the absolute state of them but I'm going to a festival mate like they're gonna look like this by the end of it if they weren't brand new if they were brand new they would still look like this is what I'm trying to say right so do I put them in the washing machine and risk ruining them and then have to buy a new pair or do I just scrub them up as much as I can, ignore the fact that this is like black and stained in between and just wear them anyway because no one really cares? <sighs> like why do I need clean shoes? All the photos for Instagram, like what, the one or two that I might upload? Like, I think I might just stick them in the washing machine, but they won't dry in time now. Well, there's my answer, whatever, I've sorted it. Never mind. thanks for the help guys. So let's talk my protein, the title of this video. Um, I have been working with my protein for four years, four and a half years now, something like that. A good couple of years um, unpaid, just commission, virtually nothing, right? And a good couple of years now, been fortunate enough to be paid right, to be a contracted my protein athlete. Contrary to popular belief, you do not have to be an Eddie Hall or a Ryan Terry looking, achieving athlete, actual athlete, right, like strongman or like actual like good bodybuilder. You don't have to be that anymore to be an athlete for a company, whether it is for my protein or just a rival company or whatever, or a clothing company like Alphalete, you do not anymore have to look like those athletes to be an athlete. Although you get put in the same kind of category and it's the same thing, you don't have to look like that anymore. 
a lot nowadays because of how social media has gone, and I am thankful for this because, <laughs> well, look at me, is about personality, right? Do you have anything about you? Are you interesting to people like you, right? To start off, before lockdown, I had a home gym. That was kind of like the, wow, like look at this home gym thing, right? And then I like to think that people kind of stuck around over the past three years since I moved out for, for, for me. You know, they might not have, but I like to think that way. And it is that kind of thing and those people that have stuck around that allow me to do what I do. One, with a small following, and two, without looking like Ryan Terry, again, or Eddie Hall. I keep using those two people, but they're two extreme examples of elite athletes, right? Which I am I, not. So anyway, I have been a my protein athlete for the past couple of years, or technically the past few years, but paid contractionally an athlete, right? Then I'm just rambling, right? Until very recently, I have been a contracted athlete for my protein on clothing and nutrition. There's many ways that you can go about this, but for me personally, there's been two ways to kind of to, to do things. And one way was to be exclusive clothing and nutrition, which I have been for the past two, two and a half years. And one way is to just be exclusive nutrition, right? So I can talk about other clothing, I can wear other clothing, whereas before, I was tied into only being able to wear my protein in, in public events or when I'm filming or things like that, right? Now, granted, yes, I wear it by choice because these new clothes are really quite cool. However, the difference is I do not need to. I can go in a Nike t-shirt, I can go in an Alpha Lee t-shirt, I can wear other things that I want to wear on camera. That, for the past two, two and a half years, has not been a possibility for me. So that is what I mean by the end of my MyProtein contract, because this new one that I am now in allows me to do these things, or will allow me to do these things. I am still going to be using my protein products, still going to be wearing my protein products every single day. I'm wearing them right now. I've just had a clear way. I am still a MyProtein athlete. However, in my opinion, this is a progression for me and my career because it allows me to earn the same money that I was on before, but also go elsewhere and earn more money from a clothing contract. This is how this works. And I really, really hope to God that this does not backfire and someone takes this the wrong way because I'm talking about money and people hate it when I do that. I don't like talking about money, but at the end of the day, if you think about it, I've halved my contractual deliverables. I now have the ability to earn money elsewhere as well as my protein. So this is a career progression for me, in my opinion. So I suppose that is kind of the big announcement, if you like, is that I am still an athlete, just not as we have always known it. But I've never really kind of publicly gone out my way to say I'm a my protein athlete doing X, Y, Z. Um, I think it's pretty obvious and I've talked about contracts and all that kind of stuff and my deliverables and my commitments to my protein over the past couple of years, but I never made a video saying oh, I'm now being paid, you know, so it might come as a surprise as a surprise to some people, but hey ho, it is what it is. The end of my current my protein contract and the beginning of a new one, the beginning of a new era, the beginning of the change that I promised on this channel is coming. And with that, I will see you all for a clothing haul in the very near future. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for the people that use code LSJ. You have quite literally been responsible for my livelihood over the past few years and I hope that you continue to support your boy. I need you to. I've got bills to pay. Rent is due. Hashtag new apartment. Thank you all so much. Much love. Together we will grow and I'll see you in the next one.